Welcome everybody. This is the Imperium Cup and this is Group H in Week 6. This is my last game of the Imperium Cup and uh, I recorded this one but without giving commentary so this is me revisiting this game and kind of like give you a you know a good a good walkthrough of what I did and how I did it. Now at this point it should be known that I had a couple of rough games. I had the first game I played I thought I was doing very well ended up fourth place on a first place tie. Um, with four players all tied at 10 points, which you can go back and watch. The link will be up above you, uh, this video. And then I had two third places, um, one of which was pretty rough, another one which was pretty much like over before it began. And then this game, which was actually much better. Um, and I wanted to bring it to you, give a little bit of commentary, explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and maybe look at maybe when I made a mistake. So Sentient here in fourth position is picking up Tessia, which is fine. Um, I pick up Ikaz. I, I guess my, my big theme, theory here is that I've been working on playing Ikaz, and I, I've been trying some new strategies out, and I wanted to give this character a little bit more play time for me. Is it not a character that I often play? And so I felt that this tournament I was going to do my best to try and use Ikaz. So I played Ikaz and I think I think it was uh, two out of the four games. I think I went Beast, Memnon, Ikaz, Ikaz. So, you know, got to give him some, some shots. Also, this is a good Ikaz uh, row here with uh, the In the Shadows and the Bene Gesserit Sister. There's a Chome Delegate. I mean, no matter what I'm, gonna, what I'm getting here, I'm getting something good, which is great. Um, because I'm third position, the likelihood of me getting something good is, is is higher. And I had a chance of getting my ring, which I didn't get in this first draw, which kind of sucked. <laughs> not to, not going to lie. You pick Ikaz and then you uh, don't get your ring. It's like bad player playing. Um, but that's just sort of what, what happened. Still, very good hand. I can't ask for a much better hand except for maybe swapping this dagger for my ring. Uh, I have my diplomacy so I can get to uh, Hardy Warriors if I need to, to take this combat down or to get some water. I like water in third position and fourth position lately. It just lets you have better play third rounds three and four. Uh, and I really like that I have enough buy here. If, if something good comes up in the row, I will have probably like three or four persuasion, given give or take, um, probably four. Uh, and so I'm looking to use my dagger round one to like tech or something like that. As of note, we have Jamar in the second position playing Baron and Dusty Ruck playing Moritani. And he's going to go shipping or rather spacing right away. Of course, he wants to get that double bump with the shipping as early as possible. Moritani can catch up if he needs to, but he always loves that. Baron is probably going to Hardy Warriors. Well, it's kind of a bad fight here. This skirmish <clears throat> is one of the weaker skirmishes in the game. The second place is good for the two spice, but I think it's probably the weakest of the uh, combats. Baron's going to agree with me. Going to go shipping instead, and just going to draw an intrigue here, which is reasonable. That gives me a couple of good options. I could take this combat down, or I could just get water. Uh, I could also just get some Solari. Let's see what I choose here. I don't really remember this game all that much. It's It's been like three weeks since I played this game, so... We'll just kind of go with it. I'm going to get some water. I like this play better than going for, um, uh, what do you call it, for Hardy Warriors for this combat. Um, and I'm just, the automations, I guess, are a little bit more, getting, getting more familiar to me. So I'm, I'm still forgetting to do things like move up, which I will, I will fix here in a second. Tessia is going to... Play Diplomacy, probably to Wealth, or maybe take down this combat. Uh, that is that is the, the choice I think they have. They can always go to Secrets. I don't really like an early Secrets. It feels like you don't get... Like, if you get a bad Intrigue, you're in some trouble. Um, and usually early combat is more important than just one early Intrigue. You want late Intrigue. It's going to be a combat for... Tessia. But how many do they throw in here? Do they throw one in? <clears throat> do they throw two in here? If they throw two in, they risk winning the combat, <laughs> which is not great. Um, no, they're going to go to Wealth instead. So Wealth makes more sense to me. I like this one better as a Tessia player. And then Hundro here, probably just going to go. So if he has his ring, he's going to go to Flat, or I'm sorry, Imperial Basin, but he doesn't. Carthag for 
No, Arakeen. Okay, so he's looking for something. If he doesn't have his ring, this is a really bad play because there's a one in five chance that you draw your ring. Um, so I don't like this play at, at all. I think if you were going to draw, you gotta draw first. Um, the, also, the, op the, the chance of you drawing like your other uh, faction access card is high, unless he already has it and he's just looking to buy something. If he has like double dagger and um, seek allies, then this makes a little bit more sense because maybe you can hit the two buy card so here's, here's my options here. I can just reveal <clears throat> and just take in the shadows. I have four persuasion here and I wouldn't mind just doing that. And I think that's what I end up doing on my turn. I don't really like any of these other options and I'm probably gonna get second place in this combat. If, even if I get third place, it's not a huge deal and I do reveal. So I'm gonna go ahead and reveal. Um, we're gonna go up one with the dagger. We're gonna get the in the shadows. Ooh, there's a Guild Admin. Uh, Guild Admin's pretty good too, but I really, really like the Chum Delegate. So I think I take this one. Though I think that on second, on hindsight, hindsight being 2020, I think the Guild Admin here is better early on because I don't currently have access to, to shipping, uh, interstellar shipping that is. A worm turns turns up in the in the row, and that's that's sort of going to interest some people a little bit later, but. Um, I'm also thinking that I get my ring in my next hand, so I could potentially still get that guild administrator, or even the sister, or even the um, uh, gene manip, which is fine. And uh, I think that just early revealing here was just slightly better than playing my dagger and getting a tech negotiator. I don't really need it right now. I, I don't usually, this is just a play style for me too. I don't tend to use the tech negotiators. Maybe that's just a, fl a failing in my play, but I just don't do it. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I run, I like to run low to the ground with my, with my tech. And if I'm gonna get tech, I'm just gonna go like lots of spice, lots of tech. But here we go. It is a uh, reveal for, for sentient here. And believe or it's a purchase for someone we're having a little chat about these two cards the sister or the admin both very good but the gene manipulation or the administrator um, I, I always I like going towards the gene manipulation but there is an argument that the administrator was better there were there was someone in um, I can't remember who it was but so so dusty rock picks up the gene manip um, there was an argument that the in the base game, the administrator was the best card in the game because it gave you access to the best spot in the game at Highliner, and it also trashed cards, and that was hard to do. Um, but nowadays, it's not as good. So we're going to draw down Baron and I, unless the Baron wants to play a card, which I am totally fine with at this point. Uh, and Sension is going to reveal for something here. The row is still good. Like, we've got these really good low-cost cards. We have... Um, uh, we have the Weirding Way comes up, which is nice. Benny Jester, sister, of course, is still there in the admin. So those things are not going to stick around. So we really want to pick up the Chome, if we can pick up Chome in the next couple of turns, but we'll see what happens. I honestly don't remember. Sister gets picked up by Jamar as well, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. I pass, and then Sentient is going to reveal for a buy of two and picks up the admin. So it didn't have a lot of options. It was either admin or uh, liaison. Thufur shows up, and so does Chani. Lots of good cards. And let's see. Going to combat, no one's going to do anything here. It's just going to resolve like this. We're going to tie down to one spice. And Dusty is going to take it down, I believe. Yep, all right, that's it. Which is fine. If I'm trying to simply get get resources, I don't mind if I take a essentially take a resource away from someone else. Uh, the Baron getting two spice would be very good um, because it would give them a leg up on some of these tech uh, techs up there. As a note, Minimic Film is in the tech row, which is something that everybody would want. Apologies for the camera too. I'm I'm just playing. I'm not really like 
trying to show this game all that much. I'm just playing from my perspective and and so I'm talking and doing things in the game and it might just be a little wobbly. I'll do my best to navigate that. So my, my next hand is great. Of course, I get the ring. So I'm looking at that um, weirding way. I also have my seek allies. So if Baron doesn't go shipping immediately, I get to ship. But they do. I mean, spacing immediately. So fold space for Baron. And what else next? So I, I got to think about what I was trying to do here. Um, this is a good one to win, but I, I'm not too pressed. I generally do need this one. Also because last turn I didn't uh, trigger my Ekaz ability um, because I wanted water, which I think is better just to have a water. I don't think trashing is all that important in this game. Um, I think Ikaz's ring is what's important. Uh, we're going to go up and smuggle, and this makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. So here goes, Get the use the ring, I'm going to pick up. I shouldn't click that first, I should probably take a Weirding Way. Yep, here we go. Weirding Way, very powerful card. Going to be really good later on, especially with that uh, the Chome Delegate. Weirding Way, Chome, Chome Delegate is like super hyper combo. You can like smuggle and then interstellar if you have access to it with the Chum Delegate. All right, we have a uh, Tarthag for Tessia. Tessia's going to throw three troops in. Tessia wants to win this one. Everyone's going to try to win this one except for me. I, I remember not really being too enthralled with getting more uh, Solari at this point, although I should probably have been. Mortani is going to get some spice and then trigger his ring and go up. There might be some tech he's eyeing here. He's going to put two troops in and pass the turn. If you're Baron, I think you simply just throw your troops in. Yeah, and this is going to be yeah, here we go, Hardy Warriors. Of course, Hardy Warriors for the Baron, you def definitely want to do this um, at the best, most opportune moment. I'm not sure this is the most opportune moment for the Baron to do this. Um, it is annoying because now the Baron is going to be challenging for the Fremen Alliance, but the, you know they are going to always do that. And now they have access to Interstellar. Next round. So my options are Harvest, which is what I believe I do. Yep. And I'm not going to put anything in here because I just don't need to get involved in this combat. I'll save my troop. So getting the spice here is nice. I'm going to get the trash and be able to trash this dagger. Um, or I might keep the dagger. I don't remember what I do here. So here's a reveal from Tessia. Because you're revealing early, right? That's crazy. So gets Thufer. The early reveal for Thufer shows up a shows a treachery. I can't get the treachery this round. I can only get a liaison, unfortunately. And there wasn't really any way for me to get. You know, I, I could have gone to tech negotiation this round instead of harvesting. Picked up the Minimic film. That's reasonable. That was another optional play I could have probably made. Um, that would have put me up to three persuasion, but I could. I don't get any bonus from, from buying that round. I don't. I would have four persuasion, I suppose, but nothing. Nothing costs four. So I guess maybe I didn't want to do that. Reveal for the Baron for three. Also kind of awkward number, right? At this point, if you have three or four, it's the same as two. You're going to get either one or two liaisons. So I'm just looking through, seeing what, what's all in here, just remember, remembering uh, Chome Delegate in the Shadows. Those are things I want to draw. So we'll try to get those. I'm saving my my um, Seek allies here. I'm gonna trash the Dune. I think that's fine. I like Because I, I have a couple more Dune symbols on the new cards I picked up, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, and I decide to not buy, because I already got the Weirding Way. And I don't want to clutter my deck. So here is a reveal from Mortani for five. 
Um, that seems reasonable. The, so this is an interesting choice here. Gets the Chani for the water. The Chani is a fine card. It's just two persuasion and a water and access to Fremen. But, you know, there's, there's some other stuff in there. There's a Tuic there, which I would consider taking. I guess the question is, did Moritani want to challenge for the Spacing Alliance? And they didn't seem to want to. And Comet's going to resolve like that. Super Easy Baron gets the six Solari. I get nothing because I wasn't in the combat. Uh, and Red will get four, and Dusty will get two. A great hand for me here, great hand. There's a detonation devices up there, by the way, which might be fun. I've been favoring detonation devices a lot more. I think that card is, or the tile is uh, underutilized, underutilized. And in fact, I'm, I'm probably gonna work on a, an early detonation devices strat guide here in the future when that comes up. Um, I found some really, really fun plays with it. Anyway, Signet Ring is for me, probably my play. Uh, it's gonna be, so uh, see, here's the thing. I could give up shipping or I could just take money which is what my, my goal is here. Now, I think this is a mistake. This is my this is one of my mistakes uh, in the game. And I'm not exactly sure why I did this. <clears throat> um, so I'm, I'm taking the liaison and I'm not sure, I really am not sure what my plan was here uh, at this point, if I wasn't just taking fold space. I think this is a mistake. Um, I really hate the shipping track sometimes and I get really tired of playing it so I just kind of like ignore it. Um, I think I ignore it this game. But we'll see how that turns out. There is a there is a strategy you can play where you just ignore it but I think only one player can ignore it and the others have to play it. If, if like two players play the shipping track then one player gets more accesses and that's annoying. Um, okay here's more Tawny. You gotta send your guy there first, Dusty. He's going. Um, probably Carthag here. I don't know why Carthag so much. Okay. Hardy Warriors here for Dusty. He's gonna throw some guys in. Sure. Maybe I was thinking that I really wanted to selective. Oh, I know what I was thinking. I know what I was thinking. Um, so here I was I was worried that if I didn't get Solari now, so because I'm sitting at seven, if Baron cashes out, or or Sentient cashes out, um, then I can immediately hit Swordmaster. So I'd be able to undercut their Swordmaster by a turn, which I wanted to do anyway. Um, and I think I did want to trash this round. Was the other thought. I wanted to trash from my deck. So, Baron already going up for uh, four points here. It's a little alarming, but the Baron generally does that. They kind of like stall out. Okay, so I was, I was going to try to get something to buy here. So I'm gonna go in here, probably gonna trash this dagger here. We just don't really need it. Um, I'm not going into combat this round. I'm giving up two early combats And unfortunately, pick up my Seek Allies again. That's okay. So a couple of couple of maybe weird plays here this round. I was hoping to draw a little bigger, um, but with only two Persuasion in hand, normally that wouldn't really work. I'm not going to get the trash from Ekaz this round either, but I do get the trash from Selective, which is great. I don't want to trash too many cards, but I want to get, I'm going to keep it like a seven or eight card deck. Seven card deck would be great. Tessie is going to, what did Tessie do? Tessie interstellar And here is Mortani to Carthag most likely. Oh no, to Siege, okay. Yeah, Siege makes sense too, especially if you're trying to like get this great flat. Though um, <clears throat> I'm going to lose out on the great flat here because of my greed. And that's a problem. There's another problem I had in this match where I just didn't take spice when I should have. But that's the way it works sometimes. 
All right, Baron is going to claim the Swordmaster. <clears throat> there are these buttons that do this for you, the calculations, but we're all so used to using the old version that we're still doing it manually at this game. All right, so this round I feel was a bit of a misplay for me, a couple misplays. Probably should have gone to fold space, and then second action should have been to simply get spice. But what it ended up getting me is, um, I guess, kind of a weird next turn because I won't get my seek, my seek allies. Um, I guess maybe my thought was that I wanted to draw through my deck as soon as possible so that I can keep cycling in the shadows. But I think that this is just kind of a, a mistake of over planning. Um, and I think what I should have what I should have done is just taken spice, gone up with the shipping or spacing guild. Um, I guess at this point I would have only gotten one rung with the spacing guild, and that is a little bit alarming because then I wouldn't have access anyway. Though I should probably take my turn. That's okay. Uh, this is going to be a straight up win for Dusty. No one else has any troops. I guess the Baron can challenge here if they have a combat card question mark so yeah some some question marks here for baron what the baron wants to do <clears throat> baron obviously looking very good at, at four points but um as we know baron has some trouble in the mid game once they're out of resources more tawny i'd say is is looking pretty sketchy here i mean not sketchy but scary sketchy for us um and and not in a good way. <laughs> I don't I don't really like like seeing Moritani with a bunch of resources. Um, he's going to end up ship or get, end up getting some some spice next round at the Great Flat, and then probably hitting Highliner if they need to. <clears throat> and that's a big big problem for me. Okay, so Jamor's going to reveal for six and pick up this Treachery, which is just a phenomenal card. I think I was just trying to buy this treachery in that I didn't hit it. I basically just whiffed entirely with my um, my breeding. Bred very badly. So, combat is just going to go straight to Dusty. And that should be concerning to everyone at the table because not we are not challenging them. <clears throat> I should just put one, one troop in. But I uh, did not. Didn't have the opportunity actually. Okay, so now we're gonna we have access to shipping no matter what, which is great. We have access to the Great Flat if we need to. Um, and it just depends on whether or not Moritani decides to go to the Great Flat. Usually you have enough access to the Great Flat in your deck. You, you just you just luck into it. So the chances of Moritani not going to Great Flat are pretty low. <clears throat> Um, looks like Yuna, or not Yuna, sorry, Tessia is going to Interstellar. And going to cash out. They take money here, I get to go to Swordmaster, which is great. Which I think they do do here. I don't know why they would take Spice. I'm taking the Tiebreaker card, so they are taking Spice. Which is kind of unfortunate. Um... Yeah, I, I I don't know. Getting Chomarky early is fine. It's probably the least impactful of the techs early on, but it's the most impactful later in the late in the game. We shall see how it works out for. Now I'm kind of setting up for a later game. Like I'm I'm trying to go like draw heavy, draw through my deck as as much as possible. This is kind of my my go-to strategy for Ilban is just to draw as much as possible and get as many cards in your hand as possible. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do is draw cards. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to do that <laughs> in this game. So yeah, great flat for, for Mortani. Not a surprise. Probably throw one troop in. Now I'm still at two points. I'm not out of anything here. I would like to like get some, get something better going on here. So I actually think I, uh, research station this round. I think I research station here and Baron goes up with with the smuggling. I am not thinking about doing that for some reason. I think I should have probably researched stationed here, looking at my hand, looking at my deck. 
but I'm gonna smuggle. We're gonna get the eight. Okay, this makes a lot of sense too. Actually, this makes more sense. <laughs> now that I now that I, uh, I'm looking back at this. Get the one Solari I need. <clears throat> Chome Delegate's so powerful. So, so, so powerful. And now I can go get my Sword Master. I can trash a card from my hand or deck. I mean, from my in play area. And then what's my next play? <clears throat> my last play could be draw to try to hit Spice Must Flow or just to draw onto my cards better, which I think is a good play. Yeah, I think that's what I do. I'm looking at. Re yeah, so I'm, I'm pulling Recon to my to the right side of my hand, so it's going to be Dagger to Swordmaster, Recon to... Maybe to maybe to get this combat. I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get this combat. The rewards are fine. But I, I kind of like drawing three cards here. It's my draw card strategy. Just draw cards all the time. And and get a lot of things um, in your deck that, that reveal for stuff. It's pretty good, actually. Okay, we're looking at a Tessia play here. Tessia is probably going to go get some water, my guess, or just to win this combat with a Hardy Warriors play. It really depends on whether they have access, and if they do, they should probably just do Hardy Warriors. Take this combat down. They need the point. I've given up a lot of early combats here, which I don't feel good about, but my, my draw didn't really work for that. Um, either way... Whether I went in or didn't, I probably wouldn't have been able to make anything of it because my my hands didn't align very well with uh, combat, <clears throat> which sometimes happens. Uh, I don't know what Tessia was thinking about here. We were chatting about a lot of things, so maybe that's what's going on. They're thinking. I mean, I think it's a Hardy Warriors play here. You could also just fold space and try to take this alliance um, with spacing, but that seems sketchy. Honestly, <clears throat> there's an argument for Mentat. I think there's an argument for Mentat. No, he didn't draw. He didn't draw. Did not draw with uh, with Ufer. It's going to be a breeding here. Okay, breeding makes sense too. Breeding makes sense too. <clears throat> they want to draw cards as well. You kind of want to float to spice all the time. I think like the ideal in the ideal world, you you are constantly sitting on two spice so that you can always select a breeding whenever you need to. Oh, okay. And here's a here's something goofy that happened. Um, more Tani uh, did something weird. We're gonna re rewind time. <clears throat> more Tani accidentally dealt their their deck. <laughs> or no, maybe it was the Baron. The Baron or Moritani dealt their deck to everyone <laughs> once. Which sort of messed everything up because Tessia drew a different card. <clears throat> uh, but we knew what card it was. Um, no, no, we, we didn't know what card it was. We didn't know what card it was. So, I'm just fixing that. That was a weird moment. So if you right click and you click search, like underneath it is deal, <laughs> you deal cards to people. And I'm sure some of you have probably done that in the past. Okay, it's gonna be diplomacy. Is Dusty looking to take down another combat? Cause they don't have any spice. Oh, they are, I mean, not spice, water. <clears throat> this, this does look like a Highliner turn. Highliner here is Fine. I kind of don't like this actually. I think I would have taken the uh, the Holtzman engine instead, which is something I think everybody should probably fight for. Holtzman being one of the premier tech tiles in the game, if not the best tech tile in the game. Now, if you see, if I had actually gone to Harvest Spice in the previous turn, I would have enough for the Holtzman. <laughs> Um, which would have been nice, and then I would have just been set, right? I would have been happy as a clam. And here's the Baron, gonna go get some tech. Baron going to pick up what? Though this Minimic film, yeah, for sure. Sure, sure, sure. 
Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not Minimic Film, that's Wind Traps. I don't know why I've been calling it Minimic Film. The other two cost one. Here's Dagger for my turn. My plays are pretty much pretty much scripted here, um, which is good. Tessie's going to refocus, drawing a card, and they're probably gonna buy Spice this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Unfortunately, not enough for Chome. This is, this. I remember this turn now, I remember this turn. Sentient was going for that Chome and just missed it by one, right? That was the like one of the turning points for them in the game. Like if they had hit that, they might've won the game. I'm not gonna say who wins the game, but that was like one of the most important reveals in this game and that they got seven. They drew that, that fold space, that freaking fold space card instead. And that just ruined everything. Anyway, <laughs> sort of funny. Moritani here is going to reveal for three. Uh, deciding whether they want to pick something up. They pick up local fence, which is fine. It's um, marginally better than a liaison. Uh, I'm just taking a look what I've got here. And um, I, I think I just have to go draw, right? I, I, there's a chance I draw into cards that give me resources or bumps on tracks. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Though it puts me in an awkward situation where I don't wanna have no water and no Solari and one spice. Would have been better to have two spice here because then I could go to breeding next round, but that's okay. Um, can't win the combat. Can take second place if I really want. I mean, it's it's sketchy. Baron has three intrigues in hand, so it probably isn't the best idea to go into combat here. Um, what else could I do? No, I think it's definitely it's definitely a research station, right? Or I can go get some spice. Spice is also fine. I think I decide on spice. I was worried that if I research stationed here that I would be locked out of water for a couple rounds. And I think this is a better use of my my actions. I want to keep two water, don't I? Do I want four? Four and three are very similar here. Um, there's a spaceport in the row that is fun. Uh, there are some cool spaceport strats that you can do with ECAS, but you have to get it early. Um, if you spaceport with your ring, you can put the card you acquire on top of your deck and then draw it, <laughs> which is super, super fun. Um, but can you do that? I think you can do that. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Um, anyway, it lets you do that in the next couple of rounds. I'm still deciding whether two or three three spice is what I want here. The question is, do I want to keep two water open for a big buy turn next round? God, I, I, this I, my indecision here is killing me actually. All right, three, here we go. And I throw one troop in. I wanted to get the extra, okay, so here's my thoughts. I could have gone with the three, put one in, got the third, the three place, the third place, got the fifth spice. So this is what I probably should have done. I think this was a mistake um, on hindsight. So what I should have done, because I wasn't going to win this combat no matter what, I should have gotten to the imperial. Uh, sorry, the great, the not the great flat. What is it called? Haga Basin, the second one that gives you <laughs> that's currently in the middle. Um, Haga Basin got the four total spice. So it had four total pushed a guy in, got one more, got went to five, then immediately went and get high, get the uh, Holtzman engine next round. I would have had the only access to Holtzman this game so far, and that would have been, I think, a better play here. It's it's interesting when you're when you're playing this game. I find that I play better in person. I I, I tend to have better um, awareness of what other people are doing, even though I can see everything, you know, in TTS. I, I feel like I just kind of. I don't know, I, I kind of tunnel vision when I play this game on TTS sometimes, and I just go like, well, I gotta think about my turn. It's weird, it's weird. It's like the physical looking around makes me more alert or something like that. 
Maybe you've experienced something similar. So I pick up an a liaison here. Eh. I trash my convincing argument. Okay, so this is cool. I like this. I like picking up liaisons and trashing convincings because they're essentially just upgrades. I like that. Um, gives me more actions, more possible cards that give me actions. I like having one convincing cycling through the deck, but I don't like really having two all that much. Uh, we're going to get some spice. And terrible purpose is going to go to to Moritani here. And this is where we st should start thinking like, okay, Moritani is going to be pulling ahead. Excuse me. Moritani is looking pretty scary. Pretty scary. It is going to be sort through the chaos for this round. Um, now, I I do think that this could this early game could have gone better for me, um, and we've already talked about a couple of mistakes I made. Right, not harvesting spice when I could have, probably not going to fold space, not not playing the parts I should have just to block people. But notice that I'm I'm on two points right now. And I want you to pay attention to where I end up at the end of this game because um, the strategy of not bothering with fold space can work if you are cashing out of like smuggling at the right time. Uh, my hand, by the way, is full of, of amazing cards. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got the Nutter Butters here. I've got uh, a Weirding Way and a Dagger. So I can Weirding Way get spice and then go get high get the uh highliner or not highliner i'm sorry the um uh engine in the tech row Holtz, holtzman engine which is what i should have done and i don't do that this round <clears throat> and i'm so mad at myself I, I should have done that i'm so mad at myself here i don't know what i was thinking i really was like going okay could i buy this this chome maybe not maybe the worm my, my buy is really bad right now. I gotta trash these daggers out of my deck. Like, ASAP. And I gotta use this, uh, the Seek Allies. Because it's starting to bite me in the butt for buying stuff. I'm probably going to, uh, hit up the breeding again, I think. We are really trying to draw all the cards. Drawing all the cards is how we're gonna win the game. If we win the game, we shall see. Mm, Kidoki, <clears throat> it is still on the Baron here, I believe. No, it's Mortani. Just deciding what to do, deciding where they're what they're doing with their bump. Probably gonna go Fremen here. Um. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Sitting at the penultimate rung of the Fremen track, like, it's probably my favorite, like, single thing to do in the game, because then you, if you hit still suits, you get two water and immediate access to the Great Flat or to the research station, so that's fun. Here's the Baron with a ring, ringing over to get four spice. See, so now this is why I made a mistake. Giving the Baron this much spice, it would have been three spice otherwise. But look what they have now. And this was my mistake. Now they have enough for Holtzman. But I can beat them there if I really want to. And I should have done that. <laughs> I don't do that. And you can yell at me. But use this as a learning um, learning experience. So I, I go up to, uh, yeah, Conspire. <clears throat> Conspire's fine. Okay, Baron actually wanted to play Water of Life here, so I pause and let them do that. They get to draw three. They did get their spice. I did see that. There's a little bit of confusion how much he had because doing things out of order. Yeah, he, he went up with uh, Spice instead of paying it. I, I made sure that that happened. Okay, draws, neat, cool, now I can go. Uh, here we go, we get two troops, we get five bucks, and we get a, an Intrigue, and my Intrigue is War Chest. Wow, does that synergize with what I just did? Lucky me. 
There are arguments that there's a little bit more luck in this game than skill, but I don't think so. I think that the amount of luck that good players get pushes them over the edge. Um, I don't think this is a really great play. I think this is just a mediocre play that I lucked into a good card. Um, <laughs> I think what I should have done is just take Holtzman Engine, and then no one was going to conspire. I, no one was going to bother. I could have just gotten wealth. would have been fine. Though I wouldn't have been able to get the High Council. So I decided to get High Council this round instead, which is fine. That lets me buy for four... Yeah. Oh, I think I remember what I do here. I think I draw with research station. Do I? Re I think I draw with a research station. Oh, interesting. I can't remember what I do here. This is a it's a complicated turn because when you have in the shadows in your hand and want to use it, because I don't know if I really want to use it here. I think I want to reveal it, but maybe I use it. Tr uh, I draw, then I tr discard the dagger, to go up with another faction. <clears throat> that's not a bad idea. Maybe that's what I do here. Although, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy that chome at all. Let's see what I do. Because there's a chance, basically there's a chance that I, I draw the chome delegate, which lets me discard it for three more spice, or three more solari. Now I'm just going to go get the uh, high council right away. <clears throat> sure, that makes sense. That makes sense. No problem. I have one more action anyway. So we shall see. Setting up for some spice must flows later on. It is a little bit late. Uh, I'm still sitting at two points, but I feel confident that with the in the shadows and now my point in hand that I'll be able to scrape some points back at the end. I still think that the Weirding Way here was the best play. Weirding Way to like Imperial Basin and then immediately go by the Holtzman engine. I think that was just better. So I'm not 100% sure this was the right play though. Getting the uh, the High Council is also fine. It's it's a, you know, six and a half of one, half dozen the other. Your choice, your flavor of, of turn, I suppose. And yeah, Baron is looking at what here? Probably a bias spice. <clears throat> They're at four points right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Oh, nine with the attack negotiation. So they get a spice. Well, that's nice for them, isn't it? And I don't. Okay. Oh, I hit secrets. I really want to put some distance between myself and Tessia. Um, I think this. I think here secrets is actually better than water. The guild authorization is real nice. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. I think I actually like this better than going to uh, to still suits. Still suits kind of loses its value late game. Two, three, four, five, six, seven again. Again, Tessia only buys for seven. This stupid fold space is just rotting in your hand and you can't use it. Oh man, what a rough turn. A couple of rough rounds. Yeah, so here's the problem with fold space sometimes is when you try to buy high, it does this. <laughs> you get it um, and you don't want it. That's the... Uh, the Arakeen last play. Um, and that's going to go to Baron here. Baron revealed early as of note. Baron revealed early with four spice. Um, very interesting. So I'm going to reveal here. I'm going to pick up my alliance and another intrigue. A Jameis is in the row. Uh, Mortani bought the withdrawal. Tessie is going to pick up the Jameis. I reveal, get my point and my intrigue. Intriguing. Cole, ooh, that's nice. Cole will let me uh, take an extra influence if I need to with the Bene Gesserit, but I probably won't use it that way. Probably won't use it that way. 
Oh, I could, like late game. Again, giving up some combats to other players, focusing on on this this one track and focusing on my um, my card economy, my deck. Uh, I have three persuasion, so I could buy something here. A liaison seems fine. I think this is my third one. I think I want to keep it to three. I usually go three liaisons and be done. So we pick up one more. And then I get to trash. I don't get to trash. Here's another issue. <laughs> another issue. Lots of issues with my play here. I think that the conspire turn, however good it could have been, uh, set me back a little bit here. So I think conspire is usually good for beast and other players who really want to get their swordmaster early. And I think it's fine to get your high council. Um, I think in hindsight, it was better to go get the Holtzman engine. I can, I've been saying that a lot, but I think it is. Combat to Sentient. Sentient's probably not going to play anything. They're four spots away, so they'd have to have... They, they don't have anything that... One card that can do that, that can get them five uh, strength. Unfortunately, they have zero spice. Mortani's not going to play anything because he doesn't have anything. Actually, maybe he is thinking of playing both his cards. <laughs> he is okay yeah yeah yeah. okay each opponent retreats his red so that's five power wait is it it's three four five yeah so the uh ambush the master tactician plus the cannon turrets gets the uh very that's you know what that's Oh man, that's a lot of resources. A lot. But Sentient needs something to go his way here. I mean, this whole, this whole like buying for seven two times in a row thing is pretty rough. Anyway, we're going into round number six. And it is a desert power, I believe. No, Secure Imperial Basin. I'm sorry, Secure Imperial Basin. This is the first of the combats at the uh, cities, or the, um, you know, movie locations, I guess. My hand is complete garbage. My hand is, like, the biggest garbage. It's it's going to be a Spice Must Flow turn, for sure. But, yeah, this is this is rough. I'm looking at my discard. I just don't see, I need to be able to draw. So I think here I'm going to just draw at research. This is a good research turn for me, but that puts me in an awkward spot where I have no, re no resources at all. It's not good. The other option is to like, oh, by the way, um, Baron got the Holtzman engine. Baron got Holtzman. And they're sitting at five points right now. That's it's concerning. They're already halfway to an extra point. It's one of the reasons I should have pulled Holtzman, but it's okay. You live with your mistakes. So we are going to smuggle. Yes. And go up. This is a curious play. Curiouser and Curiouser. What am I trying to do here? I'm not sure. I'm thinking about what I can get. I don't have access to um, Interstellar. Tessie goes up with the Fremen, gets water, triggers their careful observation, gets an extra water. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Honestly, I'm not sure. I think I might have thought I had access with the interstellar shipping and I was going to de uh, delegate up there. Maybe I was thinking that, but I just don't. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. I think that this was just like, I need two, two Solari. Um, 
in general, I need Solari, right? Because I'm holding onto this point. So I, maybe I'm thinking like, all right, I'm going to cash out here in a little bit. And I just need bumps anywhere I can get them. And that's like half a bump kind of. So that, that makes sense. It's a little weird. There's more spice for Moritani. Moritani sitting at six points. Very, very troubling. Six points for Moritani. It's not looking good for our hero. Uh, though right now I'm like lurking in two of the factions, right? So in Fremen and Emperor, I'm just sitting at level one. So it's an easy move for a point, no problem. Um, I, I've got to research here, right? I can't show him anywhere. So I think this is my research station play, or maybe I just go get spice. What am I doing here? What am I doing this turn? This turn is so weird. I would have actually liked to see a dagger. <laughs> I know it sucks. I don't want to lose these two persuasions. Two, four, six, seven, eight. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I think it's got to be. Pers yeah, I'm thinking about what I can draw. I, I've I've looked at this discard pile enough. I think I understand that I need to draw cards. Baron is going to dagger to tech probably. Oh no. Mentat, that makes sense. Oh no, yeah, this is better, I think, for them. Get their high council. This is a good turn for them to get high council. They're looking at a, a spice buy anyway, so it's reasonable. Yep, so my options are to draw a research station, go to the, like maybe a combat space. I could go to combat, so I'm going to call, what am I calling? Calling this dagger out of my deck. Okay, this is, I like this, so I'm calling this dagger out of my deck so that I don't draw it. <laughs> so unfortunately, I, I have to, I'm going to draw one card extra because I have two cards in my deck and the rest are going to be the others. So I'm going to draw two cards, I knew what those were, I want to try to get something else good. So what do I get? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine persuasion at the moment. So I can buy spice. I'll throw these guys in here. Um, <clears throat> so I have spice. So my next play has to be Chome Delegate to somewhere, maybe, question mark. I pulled all my daggers out. So I have no, oh, I have, I have one blank in my deck because I have the, um, the in the shadows. So if I if I Arakeen on my next turn, I don't get it. And if I hit in the shadows, that'd be bad. I don't get the spice. So I think I take the safe play here. Um, Tessia is going to what? Swordmaster. Mm -hmm. Tessia saying they wanted to draw a research station, but is not Helena. Here's an infiltrate to get the sword master. That's really unfortunate. All right, and so let's see. Yellow's going to play probably the Carthag here. That's my guess. Um, and I am not <laughs> zooming in there. Yeah. Oh no, it's going to be two. No, I haven't played yet. Probably Carthag, I'd imagine. Could get some extra water for accumulation. Uh, Interesting that they're using their Arrakis liaison, so not a whole lot of worry of them buying spice this round. It is going to be a Carthag. So yellow looking pretty scary with three Intrigue cards. Um, my two are fine, so I have like an extra point in hand if I just take a trip to like um, full space or if I get enough spice and go to Highliner. So I feel like I'm doing okay here. So I've got to reveal. No, I don't have to reveal. I do have to reveal. I do take the safer, safe play here. Now, this does a couple of things for me. It lets me get Chome, Chome Directorship instead of Spice. Now, I, I don't know if this is the right play. So it moves me up everywhere, but that gets me a point, and I can play Guild Authorization here and take another point. 
Um, so I'm going to go right up to six points immediately, which is pretty awesome. I think this is a I think this is better than a spice must flow here just to get those actions out of the way so I don't have to do them anymore. I have my alliance. I have three fellow uh, friendships. And Red's going to take the alliance here. Not much we can do about that. Um, kind of expected. But now I'm kind of sitting pat with the leader, right? I'm sitting pat with uh, with Mortani. Um, and I guess see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, the, the thing about like not buying a spice, I think it's just better to, to not buy spice here. Chome, Chome is just so much better at powering my gameplay. So... I, I agree. I think that uh, I was thinking that I might, I might get it, um, but I was also worried that someone else was going to get ahead of me. But anyway, ended up getting Chome anyway, which is, I think, better in this in this case. So we're going to trash the reconnaissance with our uh, Ekaz ability. Um, at this point, I had asked if I could do that because I had passed the turn too quickly, but or maybe I said I'll just do it during your turn. Um, now, nothing that they do will really impact what I trash. I'm just kind of like considering what I have in my deck. So, and most people are cool with that. Here's a Highlander for Moritani, which is pretty scary. Now, now I like this position as a um, as a passive observer of this battle. So I only have two troops in the combat, so I'm probably gonna get third, no problem. Um, however, I like seeing green and red go at each other here. Okay, this is gonna win it's gonna be a win for me and for the baron because we're not fighting each other for alliances um and i just chose the one alliance with the Bene Gesserit that i didn't think anyone was going to go on and sometimes that's just like the best thing to do is just choose the alliance you think you have the best shot at getting go straight up there and get friendships with everything else anyway so it looks like green is going to take down this combat i don't see how we could possibly uh, equal them. I guess yellow has three combat, or co three, yellow has three cards in hand. They could be combat cards. All right, so they could potentially be sitting on, let's see, eight, 11, possibly 11 strength, but that would not be enough. That'd be, put them right below. So they'd have to have two daggers in hand as well. So pretty, pretty unlikely, pretty unlikely. If somehow yellow had another spice, I'd say that it's better, um, they, they could do it but they'd have to have everything. Oh, but here's a treachery, a treachery from yellow. So that is pretty, pretty good. Now it's looking like yellow could take this combat if they're holding a bunch of combat cards because they're going to get four extra power here, um, which means that eight ties. So that's good. And they must place them in. So if they have two ambushes, I can't remember if we've seen one. I think we haven't seen an ambush yet. If they have two ambushes in hand, that's uh, that's a tie. Pretty nice that they reveal this turn with the Spice Muscle card too, is uh, because they weren't going to buy Spice anyway. So it's nice to have the extra um, drip of Spice to go into the next round. Uh, Red is going to reveal for three, and looks like not going to buy anything or something. Oh no, they have an extra action. They decided they. Uh, we're going to take the action. So it was just a, a play to uh, hug a basin and then reveal for two, and then probably just pass the pickup. They don't they don't want anything. Um, man, that there's a desert ambush right there. That is 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 really really scary. Um, this card, desert ambush, can be such a blowout, and uh, I think players, I think I think players undervalue it, but um, it's very scary. But I, I think most of the time it ends up being a king-making scenario card and not a win scenario card. It's kind of like a win-more card. Um, okay, so going to combat here. Nothing's probably going to happen. I don't imagine that red's going to or that yellow's going to play anything in this combat. I'm just going to take their water and be happy. I'll be happy with one water here. Just keeping water flowing is nice. Not having to go back to still suits is kind of ideal. I'm still poised to take the alliance for the emperor too, so I like my position in this game, and the um, the pretty massive swing of getting Chome this round has kind of put me in a good position to take the game down. So we'll see. So point goes to Moritani, and that's a little scary. 
because we definitely don't want them to uh, win the next one. They could possibly win the game. And we'll see what the next conflict is here. I am gonna go first here. We're gonna draw in the shadows and our weirding way, which is nice. And the chome directorship. Unfortunately, I'm gonna draw the chome directorship. Uh, <laughs> that's what I get, right? Um, and it is gonna be battle for Carthag. So I'm shipping. This is gonna be an immediate ship down. I'm gonna bump up with the emperor because I'm I'm really expecting that I'm gonna be able to get this here. So I could take this alliance here. Um, which is probably a good idea. So go up, and then I can play... I actually... Um, here, play the In the Shadows, I think. In the Shadows makes the most sense for me. Uh, just play the In the Shadows, discard the Chome, go up with the Emperor, get another point. Uh, here we go. We're going to go to Carthag. I think it was Carthag I went to here, or maybe it's to Siege. It's either Siege or it's Carthag. At this point, I don't want to give green any more Solari. Um, yes. Okay, so we're discarding that to the In the Shadows. Going up, and we'll get our reward here. And I can throw all of these guys in. So this is a pretty massive swing for me. Um, I can throw everything in, right? No, I can't. I can't throw everything in. Oh yeah, I can. Why didn't I throw the last two in? Um, one, two, three, four, five. I should be able to throw two more in. I think maybe I thought I didn't have... I don't know what, what I'm doing here. This is there's there's a little mistake here, and I should have thrown the other two in um, because I had them. So it's the the two from the Emperor track, the one from Carthag, and then I could play two more. I guess I put one more in with um, the Dreadnought, but that's that's still I could put two more in. I could I could pretty much just guarantee nine points this round. Um, so that's a mistake on my part, and I don't know what I was doing. Maybe just playing too loose, not not seeing it. But yeah, you could yell at me. I feel like that's justified here. Should definitely have thrown those two guys in. What's my last action? I have one more action. I want to keep 10 Solari. Uh, this is going to be a hard... I have to just harvest here. Harvesting for two and then trying to win this combat and then buy spice, I think would be my best plan. And actually, I think... Um, by not putting more troops in, I almost give people a chance to come back into this combat, which I think is a mistake. Um, I actually think I have to go Siege here. I think this is a Siege play. Just set up for a research station. I mean, Baron can research. Tessia can research ahead of me. Both those players can research ahead of me. Um, I could go to Arakeen and just like get an extra card, but what am I going to do with that card? I don't even know if that's a good idea, so we'll see. If this goes to Siege Tabor here for the Baron, which would be a little suspicious. No, it's Interstellar. Yep. That makes sense. Now, another thing, why didn't I just go to... I'm wondering why I just didn't go to um, Interstellar to begin with. Didn't I have access to that? Man, I'm playing so sloppy here. I mean, it's, it's no wonder, you know, you if you... Um, you commentate a lot of games, and then uh, when you're in the middle of it, you're just like talking to people. <laughs> you're not really paying attention. I ended up throwing all the troops in anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, my last mistake of not throwing two more troops in. I don't know what I was thinking, but should have just done that. Uh, now I can just seal the deal with this in the shadows and use that. to. I could trash that to uh, seal off Bene Gesserit, because red is moving up really fast on Bene Gesserit. And I need to be a little worried that somehow I don't draw the right cards and I don't get into Bene Gesserit for like a turn. Then they could like pass me with a treachery or power play. I don't think they have one of those, but they could. So some fortunate combats. This would have been a terrible combat for the uh, 
what is it, uh, economic supremacy. This would have been a terrible ep economic supremacy for me. It would have 100% favored Moritani, um, who, as you can see, had that, uh, that um, local fence. Yeah, it would have been, that would have been bad. Um, all right, so we've got, we've got Tuick came down for red. Um, everyone's played, now it's my play. I played to, I played to Siege. And I like, I mean, I think that's the best play. Uh, what is red doing here? So it's red's action. No, it's yellow's action, I'm sorry. It's Baron's action. Baron to Arakeen. How does Tessie only have one? Oh, they fold, they fold space. Is that what they did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they played the Dune and then went to... No, they did fold space. Okay, okay. So Emperor, or is a Baron here coming in? Um, probably going to throw something in, I'd imagine. Um, or debating about what they're doing. They're probably just going to go here to Arakeen, buy a spice, try to get some more spice for their next round. The entry card would be nice. They run the risk of getting things stolen from secrets. No, this is Moritani. Oh, okay, we did we did skip a turn. I thought I swear I thought we it was like someone else's turn. So it's Moritani's turn. He goes to Arakeen. He's going to draw, and he's going to probably ship. He's going to get an extra Solari, um, which is automated. And at this point, I didn't realize it was automated, but yeah, it is. Such technological advancements. It is amazing. Um, okay, here. So let's take a look at what we have seen. Um, I still think that economic supremacy is the worst combat for me. Actually, if I win this, it's not that bad, because if I get second place, it's the best combat for me. Um, economic supremacy sometimes favors the player who's ahead, in that if everyone else does not have enough Solari or Spice to power it up, power the, the first point victory up, then they kind of run into this problem where everyone wants to get second place, and um, because the first place is just as good as the second place if you don't have any money. Uh, so... That's interesting. Mortani, not sure if he's going to really commit here. Um, probably needs to move his token back. We'll do so here. Oh, accidentally moved yellow in. So it's a hardy warriors for the Baron. Baron's going to come in with both. Baron's not mucking about. Have to be careful because Baron has that extra point or is about to get that extra point with the the um, Holtzman engine and my round is over. So this is this is like a kind of a, a big problem and it could have been a bigger problem if uh, Moritani had the ability to get more spice, but they were like bankrupt basically. They only have four spice. If they had water and Tessia had not blocked Imperial Basin, I was running the risk of losing this combat. Um, but because of the way things kind of worked out, uh, Moritani had no water and couldn't get two more to go to Highliner. Um, because of that, I was pretty much ready or, or able to just pull the trigger on this combat. Um, and very fortuitous that I got that, the Dreadnought. Um, all right, but I'm kind of vulnerable here because they've all seen what, I've, what I had and they know how much they have to beat, how much they have to beat. Uh, so here's a, not a problem. This could have been a problem here, this pickup with, with Mortani if Mortani had any intrigue cards, but they don't. Because they have no intrigue cards, I'm not really worried about them rapid mobilization into the combat with the reveal. Um, the Baron doesn't have their treachery card because it's discarded. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. At least I'm pretty sure it's discarded. Um, and we have a memo quarters come up in the row for tech. I'm just waiting. Looks like we're going to be still waiting. 
Baron's action. Baron has two more actions. Um, now, all of the combat spaces, except for the desert spaces and still suits are taken. The Baron has no way to generate troops. So actually, I think I'm, fe I'm feeling pretty safe here. Um, if the Baron has exactly like, you know, private army, ambush, ambush, they get it. <laughs> you know, there's not much I can do about that. Um, but they didn't seem to have it the last round um, where they could have done that. And I don't think they're going to bother. I think they're going to save it for the next round because they, they probably know that I'm not going to win this round. Um, I've already revealed um, like the best thing I could have in hand is... Um, what is it? The one that loses three troops to gain a point. That'd be the best thing I could have. But they probably would be able to, to beat me in combat if that was the case. They, they probably have some combat card. Baron reveals, picks up a spice, looks like. A big reveal for Tessia for a spice. And that's about it. Now the Baron technically had seven points. Moritani at seven points. Here's a spice for Moritani. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous here. Everyone is is really it really has their engine going, and while I think that I'm I'm playing okay, like I've made a, a couple of mistakes as you can see along the way, and that's kind of where I feel um, most vulnerable at the moment. Um, there's a couple of mistakes I could I, I've made that probably could have guaranteed me this game. Mortoni now at eight points. I'm at seven. Baron's at six, but they have an extra one in hand with the Holtzman. Tessie at six. I'm going to win this one, which is nice. Putting me up to nine. And I have to, before we do this, I have to send my Dreadnought somewhere. So I'm thinking we have Carthag has come up. Imperial Basin has come up. So I just decide we're going to go to Arakeen because with a chance that Arakeen comes up and there's no chance that the others are going to come up. So, uh, makes sense. Well, I guess I guess Imperial Basin could come up. And it is Arakeen, so I do get a troop. That is very, very good for me. But look at this. Oh, this hand. So here's, here's the thing <laughs> about this hand. When you're looking at exactly nine persuasion right away, uh, you and you have to get two more Solari for this extra point in hand, like, I don't feel very safe. With four Intrigue cards in the Baron's hand, three in Tessia's hand, and then Moritani could potentially just come in here with, like, a Highliner and win this, I feel like in a pretty dangerous, like, vulnerable spot as a player. Um... I was able to trash the In the Shadows to solidify that uh, that, that Bene Gesserit alliance, which is great. So I don't have to worry about that. I do have to worry about the Emperor a little bit. Um, there are a couple other things that could potentially be a problem here. Um, I don't think anyone's picked up uh, Spaceport. There's no Spaceport shenanigans that currently are going on, but Moritani, like... I mean, I could I could spaceport shenanigans, but I, I just don't have anything I need. I could take this worm, for instance, right? No, I couldn't. I couldn't take this worm. I could take the uh, desert ambush. Like if I had if I had four solar four spice, I could just go desert ambush and then, um, like take that card, put it on top of my deck, draw. That would be cool. And I'm pretty sure you can just take the rewards in any order you want. So you buy the thing, you draw two cards. I don't think it's like in an order. Um, the way that the game is designed is like all of your effects, um, strictly speaking, are, are triggered in any order you want. But I'm not 100% sure about that, whether whether the pay the five spice, get two cards is a, like a, um, a cost effect. I'll have to look that up. It's something to know though could lead to some really cool uh, strategies. All right, Tessia on the back foot here. Tessia is the one player, I think, um, that is having a pretty rough game, 
they're kind of sandwiched between me, Mortani, the Baron. It sounds weird, but like, yeah, the, um, their play has been a little passive and they're trying to go up these tracks and they're doing a pretty good job of going up tracks, except they're stuck at level zero on Emperor, which is no bueno for Tessia. So um, I think that that's kind of a problem. There's another problem is that uh, they have had a bit of a rough time getting spice to go to like Highliner and things like that. So there's here's an option for them. They could get great, great flat right now, which doesn't seem bad. Um, they'll go up to five spice though, which isn't enough, <laughs> you know, that's not enough for, for Highliner. Um, yeah, so I don't know what their plays are and I don't know really their, their, their deck is the one deck I haven't been tracking this game. And I remember this, I was like, ah, I kind of know what Mortani has, has, I know what the Baron has. I just don't know what Tessia has. But mostly because I, I usually, when someone buys Treachery, I try to track it and figure out when it's coming back up. So right now, for instance, the Baron could potentially have Treachery because they had shuffled their deck. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Is like When people have Treachery, you kind of have to be aware that they probably have four extra power. Okay, here's Thufer. So this is kind of like a harmless play. They're probably going to buy Spice this turn, but they don't have any way of capitalizing on that unless they've got like Corner of the Market. Um, they're going to be, ha they're going to have a rough corner of the market game though, because of the Baron who's going to be buying spice almost a hundred percent because of Holtzman. So, um, I think it's a little bit sketchy. They go to Arakeen, they give me a Solari, which is such a big, <laughs> big play here because now I can just go to like secrets, uh, to get a Solari or I could go to the emperor is another option. Um, like, it's a little bit sus if I just go to secrets and everyone should be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, but here's a diplomacy for Mortani going up, getting a intrigue. Like at this point, you just need as many intrigues as you can uh, get. He's gonna steal one from the Baron. So Baron, uh, we, I mentioned that this could have been, this could have happened. Now Baron's gonna lose one um could be a game changing card so uh they should definitely flip them yeah so we can see what they had but like that's they should flip them face down so that when they're transferring them we don't know what they are i don't know why players do that they get a little like antsy and start like grabbing cards without flipping them and just like flashing what they are um yeah i don't know is what it is um, so at the moment, if I revealed right now, I'd end the game with 11 points. Uh, I think I can do better than that though. I think I can do better than that. I have two water. Okay. So it's all up to the Baron here. If it doesn't look like Baron has any interest at all in, um, in the research station. So I'm going to get research station. They're going to throw four troops in here, steal Green's Alliance, which is a huge play. It's like Baron's Treachery. I mentioned like they probably have Treachery in hand. Like, yeah, here we go. And you don't want to be one behind Baron when they have Treachery in hand. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job of it. That this game is managing that. Oh, but here, look at this. This is a lose a troop. This is a strong arm. Lose a troop to go up one. Just to solidify that. That's like, this is closed. Door closed on Fremen. Um, and uh and that's pretty pretty massive so that's a big massive play for for baron baron playing very well here's a research station immediate easiest research station of my life let's go gonna get some more cards let's get some good stuff we got oh we got some uh good bg cards i gotta pay i did pay okay so i got two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i have eleven um i have eleven persuasion so I'm going to get spice. The game's going to end no matter what, unless someone steals my alliance, which they're probably not going to. Um, we've seen quite a few of the extra influence cards already. So I don't think we've seen the emperor one though. So they, that could be out there. Here's Tessia with the ring. Tessia now has to salvage this game. They really, really need this score. They need to win this combat. So they're going to mentat. They're going to mentat. Uh, but they're low on spice. And this is not what you want to be. Like, you never want to be mentatting with low spice in, a late, in the late game. You want to have, like, six spice. 
Mentat and just like wait <laughs> and let people throw things in and then like crush their dreams. Um, so, but I mean, you, you got to do what you got to do. You play with what you have, you know, it's, there's no perfect hand. So more Tawny here with just the ship. Now they want to get the extra point from the, from the Bene Gesserit. So that's what they're going to do. Uh, now what in the, cr oh, they have their ring in hand. So this makes zero sense unless, unless they have their ring in hand, right? Or they have a card that like throw, lets them throw card, throw troops in and then get a, a diversion that you throw four troops in and lets you ship. So like this, besides the fact that like clearly he's got something in hand, <laughs> I, I was really suspect here. I was like, okay, why are we doing it this way? Like, so they're going to like Carthag, they're going to, um, I don't know. I like, so they have, they have to have a, a way to do this. So like Carthag with the ring, drop the hammer, throw, f uh, five troops in, um, something like that. So here's Baron probably gonna pick up this memo quarters here just for the extra bump and a point, um, which is actually a big pickup for them. Um, I don't know what else you would do here. It's a whole point, uh, one whole juicy point to just take memo quarters. And it's actually, if you get, well, they're not going to get three extra bumps, I don't think, but eh, yeah, so that's, that's not very realistic, but I mean, you could always get there maybe depending on what's in your hand. Um, I guess, I guess not this round, but you know, I think you just take memo quarters. I don't know why you would take spaceport. If he, see the, here's the thing. If he takes spaceport and I don't remember what he takes, he does take spaceport. Wow. Okay. Like going for spice, going for spice or the, or the whole point. Like what if somebody blocks a selective breeding? Okay. So if somebody blocks selective breeding, you're like, Whoa, what do we do here? I can't get this point. Um, Baron could also ship. So I suppose they're thinking like, unless somebody goes, uh, shipping smuggling, excuse me, and blocks selective, we'll be fine. Right. So, so I think that's what I do <laughs> is I block smuggling. Um, it seems like the best play here because I get a Solari, uh, which means I have an extra point in hand and um, I could potentially like double ship, meaning I could use my, um, my Chome delegate and my ring or whatever. So this is, a, this is kind of an interesting play here. I don't know which one I make. I'm not sure which one I do. I don't know which one I do here. Um, I think diplomacy is wrong. Um, so I'm thinking about diplomacy to wealth. Uh, I don't know why, but I should be thinking about ring to smuggling or weirding way to smuggling. I go to Carthag. Okay. So, oh, okay. I, I know. I was just like, I need intrigues. So grand conspiracy here is an extra point. Straight up extra point. It's just like, thanks game. Got it. Uh, now if I get one more, um, one more dreadnought. Oh no. I, I, yeah. If I get one more dreadnought, I get two points. The problem with that is, um, how do I do that? <laughs> like I have how many, uh, I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have, I have exactly 10 persuasion. If I play one of my green daggers symbols or my green, um, octagon, octagonal pentagonal symbols, excuse me, the, uh, the, the liaisons, I can't buy spice. So it's trading a point for a point. So that's not really worth it. Um, and I don't get the point. I would be, I would be able to get the extra point from the game because I get the Chome Delegate. So I think here really, and I didn't get it anyway because it, it just got blocked by Tessia. Boo earns, but that's fine. Um, here is Memo Quarters. Memo Quarters is going to raise Tessia up with Emperor. And she's going to actually... Um, wait, what? We're going to, we're going to redo this. I have no idea why she should get 
the three Solari back here as well, because she did pay the Solari. Now, I, I, I'm not 100% sure on why Tessia is doing this. They get two bumps. I think they're trying to steal my alliance. Which would be bad. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Um, the other problem here is that... Uh, so, so Tessia should have three extra Solari here. And I, I don't... I, I, this is why the automations are nice, but... Um, I think we mentioned it here in a minute, but... They need to really pay attention to what, what their Solari uh, situation is. I can't police that all the time, especially when I'm playing the game. Um, anyway, so so it looks like they're going to pro probably play a card, maybe. And we're all talking about invasion ships over here. So like, yeah, you better watch out. They could just go steal your thing. Though they probably wouldn't do that. Um... So yeah, anyway, here's my hand, my, my miserable hand. If this weirding way had a green symbol on it, I would have two extra points. Two extra points. Well, no, I wouldn't, because they decided not to go to... The, well, I would, I, if I could go to um, Dreadnoughts, I would get two extra points. However, that's not the case. <laughs> so I don't really have an option to, to get the extra two points. I, I have one point from Grand Conspiracy, one from War Chest. That puts me up to 11. I buy the spice, that puts me up to 12. It's pretty good. So I'm sitting on 12. I feel reasonably certain that that red isn't going to be able to take away my alliance here without some kind of like real big help from uh, their intrigue cards. They, I mean, what else could they have? I don't, I don't remember seeing them with any like reveal intrigue or in, reveal um, influence cards. The memo quarters goes to Mortani here. Mortani also not really able to use that card or that that um, victory condition, but is going to get a bump, which is a point. Uh, I'm very, very surprised. Very surprised that Tessie did it this way instead of taking the, the memo quarters. Like I feel like wealth, wealth is like the least impactful space like game unless you just need the extra Solari. Um, what could Tessia have? They they like they should have three extra Solari, right? So they should have eight, which is kind of a bummer for them. Um, but anyway, Baron's turn. Baron's turn. Baron gonna look to buy spice. Gonna try to take this combat down, but has to like fight more Tawny for it. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe they were holding all these combat cards for just this moment. I feel pretty good here, honestly. I feel pretty good with my situation. But far from over. I've lost from situations like this before. Um, Mortani with a lot of cards. That's some trouble. Like, Tessia with a bunch of cards. Like, the real problem would be if Tessia passed me on the Emperor track somehow. Like, with two Intrigue cards and got the memo cord like got the memo cords and then like passed me but i bet the fact that moritani took it there's there's no way baron's really having to think here um what do you do as baron your options are kind of dwindling siege tabor is good it looks like he's gonna go smuggle no he's gonna yeah he's gonna smuggle yeah get two troops go up to get your point so like we we talked about a mo I talked about a moment ago that the Baron had that extra point in hand if nobody went whoops that should be on the first level yeah or second level uh, if nobody went to smuggling so if Mortani went to smuggling I probably would have lost my alliance to Tessia but because they didn't and they went to tech negotiation I kept my alliance but the Baron got a point so. That's that's a tough one. That's a really tough, tough, tough one. Baron gets some spice from uh, ship the shipping track. So I have my weirding way. I mean, I'm just thinking about playing this weirding way and then revealing and saying 
whatever, you know, what can I do? Um, there's, there's not much else I can do. Like I could tie spice tiebreaker, spice tiebreaker is a thing. So I, I could be thinking like, I'll just go to interstellar or take some spice. That's it. Like two spice. I think that's my best play. I don't have enough for, for great flat. So what can I do there? And now Baron's really sitting at nine points, possibly 10 with cards in hand. And they might have some end games. If they have corner the market, I'm screwed. Basically, like I feel like if they have corner the market, that's gonna be two points because they're gonna get a third spy, a third um, spice must flow. They go to 10 with their Holtzman and then they get two points from corner the market. I just have to right now pray that Baron doesn't have corner the market. That's it. There's not much else I can do. There's no other card they have that benefits them at all. If they have corner the market, I lose. If they don't, I win. So at this point, that's what's going on. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking what am I going to play? It doesn't matter here. So I decided to play Weirding Way, get some water, get a troop. Probably should have just gotten the um, the spice from the Interstellar. Or, yeah, this is fine too. If I get if I get third place, it's more spice, and it's an intrigue card. So, all right, uh, action on Tessia. Tessia with one more agent, four intrigue cards in hand, and five regular cards in hand, and um, needs to figure out how to do the thing they want to do, stealing my alliance would probably be their number one priority. So, yeah. Um, so, again, I mentioned that this this game, I haven't, I haven't watched it for a little while. Um, this was about a month ago I played this game, and uh, I, I remember the result. I'm not going to tell you yet. But it was, uh, it was very good. As you can see, it's a very close game, the end here, between myself, the Baron, and Mortani, really close. Like, really, really close. Could it go either way, right? And I said, like, if the Baron has corner of the market, I just lose. There's no way I can catch up. Um, if I had an extra green symbol in hand instead of, for instance, this convincing argument or the trope delegate or this um, depth diplomacy, again, I would have probably won an extra point. I, would, I, I, I could have, like, had an extra point here. Then I would have been out of range for... Um, corner of the market here's a Jameis Jameis for some troops it's gonna throw them all in here I mean so I'm not getting anything this combat simple fact is I'm getting not squat uh, which is fine it doesn't matter at this point um, I wasn't expecting to win anything from this combat like there, there is one possible like caveat here is that if red, if Sension is holding the uh, demonstrations, the, the whatever it is, the one that you lose three troops to get a point, um, then I'll get third place. <laughs> but this doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, it does look like like green is going to take this combat down. I definitely don't want yellow to win. If yellow wins this combat, I lose. Straight up. So, okay, here's Diversion. So they, they were holding Diversion. Um, so that's that's nice. Here's a Retreat from Dusty. Now, that is scary. Now, suddenly, uh, this Retreat, this Withdrawal, which I... I I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I simply don't understand. Um, like, why don't you just try to win this combat? Like, here is a double cross on red. Like, why red? Just keep the troops in and double cross yellow. I don't know. I, I don't agree with this. But then they have a chome shares. A chome shares. So they're gonna go up to 10. 10 points. No spice must flows this turn for them. I'm, I'm like beside myself like what are you doing you think you can win this combat with one intrigue card in hand there's no way 
There's no way. Here's two spice. And two, four, five. No spice must flow from the Baron. No spice must flow from the Baron. But they could put a thing on top of their deck. So they could put this like... Yeah, he's going to go on top. But well, that doesn't really matter. If they have a card that lets them draw right now... So this could be a big turn for the Baron. The Baron could play their Intrigue card, draw their card that gives them a point, reveal it, and get an extra point. So let's see if they have it here. They don't have it. They pass. So I'm feeling much better now. I go to, I go get a Spice Must Flow. I'm at 10. Baron's at, at 8. Doesn't even get the extra Spice Must Flow. So they must have like some serious points in hand. Serious points in hand. Now I feel like if the Baron wins this combat, and they now they have to win this combat, and they have to have uh, corner the market to win the game. They're si they're sitting at nine technically with with um, Holtzman. Of course, I've said that like six or seven times. I keep wanting to call it Highliner Engine, but it's Holtzman Engine, the H's. Um, it's not much for Tessia. Tessia reveals with two, four, five, six. That's real bad. And suddenly I'm tying down for third place. <laughs> like, why is this happening? Okay. And we go to combat. It goes to red first. Red is currently winning this combat. So now suddenly red is in the contention for the game if they are holding um, plans within plans. Because they have three in every faction alliance so if they have plans within plans they win this they go to 11 they go to 11 i'm sorry for the table work here um I'm, so here's a private army so yellow's not going to let them go without a fight yellow's not going to let it go without a fight they're, they're saying if you have plans within plans good for you but i'm just going to play this one card and you better have something else so here's red red is thinking about it they they, they just simply have to do it if they have it, right? They simply have to do it. It's a staged incident. They're giving up the two points. Wow. Okay, so here's a big thing here. So red could, if yellow had passed, <laughs> they would not have. That, that would have been awful for both of them. But um, it could have passed. They could have passed, and then they would not have been able to stage. Here's a staged incident. This is the one I was talking about. You lose three, three troops to gain a point. And they're just thinking about doing it here. I'm like, you you revealed it. Are you not doing it? You obviously can't win the combat. It's like such a big turn. Baron is the... I don't know if I can win at this point. Because Baron's going to win because Sentient uh, didn't have a combat card in hand that, that gave daggers. That's just how it is. Um, then the Baron has to exactly have... What? Plans with the plans? Or... If they have Plants of the Plans, does it work? One, two... No, they don't even get anything from Plants of the Plans. They have to have Corner of the Market. If they have Corner of the Market, they win. Again. They go to 13 points. Right. One from Holtzman. Two from Corner of the Market. Oh no, they didn't buy Spice. Oh no, they still have more though. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that works. Yeah, one from Holtzman, two for Corner of the Market, two for this combat, that's 13. All right, so after some hemming and hawing, uh, Tessia decides that they're going to retreat or de destroy their troops, four point. And suddenly... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And suddenly, I was in the position of not getting anything uh, for combat. Now I'm going to tie down to third. Uh, Mortani passes, the Baron's going to pass because that's definitely a, um, an end game, And this is how it's going to resolve. This is how it's going to resolve. Baron is going to win this combat. And then we're going to see what their combat, what their card is in hand. Is it good enough? So we get the Intrigue. What is our Intrigue card? It's crap. Allied Armada, unfortunately. <laughs> womp womp. There's not much I could... It's a Machine Culture Machine culture, not what I thought it was. So just one point, and I have two here. I go to 12. Baron goes to 12. And I lose on tiebreakers. 
I'm going to lose this game on tiebreakers. Second place. Second place on tiebreakers. Uh, so even if I had taken the spice from Interstellar, I still would have lost by, by one spice. The Baron with three spice is going to take this down. Um, they get the one from Holtzman. They get the one from Machine Culture. That puts them 12. What? Uh, yeah, so this is... I've had a very, very fun tournament. I enjoyed this quite a lot. This was the, I'd say, the closest game I, I played. And I, I wasn't really, like, uh, try-harding the whole time. <laughs> if you've seen some of my other games, I was definitely goofing around a little bit. But, um, you know, I was trying this game just to, like, give it a good last last run. And I think I played pretty well. Except for, I obviously, we pointed out some mistakes here. I think the Baron played very well. Baron played very well. Baron getting Holtzman Engine was was great and and that just won the game for sure and you know you know tessia did have the corner of the market here and was just unable to buy a spice so that was unfortunate for them we had uh yeah reinforcements was in hand for dusty there oh man at the end that that could have also helped but um got that just late i think uh, the negotiated withdrawal play was just so weird for me i feel like that just hurt and could have they could have won the won the uh, combat there but maybe they did, did the calculation and couldn't do it Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. You know, if you got this far, throw us a like, throw us a subscribe, tell your friends. You know, we just we do this for fun. And uh, I will see you on the next one. I really had a great time this tournament. So uh, I will be back, and Black Shadow will be back for some more later. Take care.